Hey, just wanted to do a review today of the Samsung Gear Fit 2 Pro. So I got this from my wife and obviously I put a pink band on there, so she liked that. The band that it comes with actually has a clip on, kind of like this type of clip, whatever, whatever you might want to call that, and it's black. But they do come in other colors as well, but we got her the pink band here, she liked that. So comparing this, I'm a person who's had a lot of different smartwatches, and I do have currently the LG Watch Pro. I've had a number of the Samsung watches. I had gotten my wife the regular Gear Fit, the, number, the first one. I've had a, a Samsung um, Sport, Gear Sport. I've had the Gear Frontier, Gear S3 Frontier. I've had the Gear S2 and a number of other watches. So looking at this watch here, it's definitely going to be nice for for a small wrist or if you want something small profile. It does have a lot of menus here and it's great for fitness for sure and that's what it's designed for. So it has the, you know, it has your health information right there. It does have a heart rate sensor. Let's see if I can get that to go. So you can kind of see that. Uh, yep, see it right there. Um, <clears throat> does have customizable screens similar to what you'll see in the other Samsung devices, similar watches, uh, the Gear uh, series. Has a step counter on it, as you can see. It also will track over the last 24 hours. Types of exercises that you've done. Like I said, steps, heart rate, floors climbed, which I don't find is very accurate, but I don't think that's on any of the watches. Um, workouts that you've done, where you are compared to other people in your age group, weather, and so on. And you can, you can even customize these as you would with any other one. Just press and hold, and you can add in or subtract. You can see right there the little minus sign. You can add and remove various widgets that you don't use on a regular basis then if i flip down from the top you'll get to see right there you can adjust your brightness of the screen up and down i think two and three usually work great because it saves the battery and it also uh, you know provides a good amount of of battery life uh, for sure and it's also bright enough unless you're in bright sunlight so uh, you know battery life Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity. You can use the do not disturb mode there. What other features? Uh, this watch face has, like I said, the floors, the steps, calories burned. You can change your watch face to a number of other ones, fitness summary, digital, digital watch, analog, that kind of thing. So there's a number of them that come built in and then you can also download, download more. The other nice thing is that you can stylize many of them. And what does that mean? That means basically you can kind of change the colors, change the way the watch face is going to look for you. These ones, that one didn't, this one does. So you can change the colors if you wanted to a different color, that kind of thing. And so this will tell you if you get a call coming in, but it's not going to provide you with information as far as like the ability to take a call on it because it does not have a speaker. It can get nicked up a little bit as you can see right here, we've had that happen. That can very well happen if you're not careful. So I would recommend a you know liquid glass or tempered glass on it. Now you have two buttons on the side. The bottom button turns the screen on and also the menu. Uh, the top button is the back button. So if I'm in the menu, for example, I hit the, when I hit the bottom button, and hit the top button to go back home and anything that I'm in I could just hit the top button so in here you have all of your apps so exercise your settings music player you can load music off of your phone onto this and then connect this to a Bluetooth headset leave the phone home and uh, go do some exercise right there's a speedo app for swimming my fitness pal under armor as well so there's a number of different and obviously as you're you're aware it's geared toward fitness so and and mondo or whatever it's called there's a number of apps built in that's probably overkill but they are there and again heart rate steps floors together which allows you to connect with another samsung user and 
you know, have competitions, friendly competitions, how much water or caffeine you drink, they let, let you know how hydrated you are, find your phone, which also on the reverse side has find your, um, find your gear on the phone app. You have a timer, a stopwatch, schedule, weather, calories, food. So those are different options and obviously you can also download other apps. I'll hit this little button to go back home. And uh, yeah, my wife really likes it. She's been using this for about two months and you know, for, you know, for someone with a smaller arm or you just want something with that's simple and straightforward, this is definitely a nice watch for sure. So I'm um, hoping this quick review here was helpful to you. Um, as I said, it does have the heart rate sensor. The clips can be removed, as I mentioned, alluded to in the beginning. It's definitely difficult because you got to snap this out and then pull this thing out really hard. And snapping them in, when we put this in, we actually had a situation where I didn't think it was going to go in all the way and you had to really push it down real hard to get it to engage. But then it works out really well. So um, do you have this watch? Are you interested in this watch? Um, you know, if you liked this, this was helpful, definitely give a thumbs up. Any questions you have, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them. Um, and the charging actually happens from these two little dots up here. And it goes on a charging cradle that's proprietary. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the walk around on the watch. Uh, let me know what other reviews you'd be interested in. If you're interested in some of the other watches, I'll link them in the description below so you can uh, see some of the comparisons and some of the information I have on the number of other watches that I've had in the past. So thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video.